I think it's the magnificent nothingness of canoeing. It doesn't require any outside energy apart from yourself. It's unbelievably quiet. You can hear the paddle slipping through the water. And your mind drifts. Your mind drifts far more than the canoe drifts, and you just simply go with it. The canoe is the ultimate Canadian icon. It's uh, perfectly built for the transportation of the first people who arrived here, both Aboriginal and the fur trade. It created the fur trade. The rivers were the first highways in Canada. And today, you look at the canoe and, and I always say, my goodness, the natives were, were geniuses well ahead of their time that they built something that you could carry on the top of your car like a cap. Algonquin Park is massive. If it were in the United States, it would be a state. If it were in Europe, it would be a country. And you can canoe almost everywhere in the park. So it has become the canoeing paradise of this country. And it, on certain weekends, long weekends and that, you can travel through the various roads that penetrate into the park. And I would say more than half, perhaps as many as three quarters of the cars that you pass on the highway are wearing a canoe. Well, Algonquin Park is filled with summer camps, and one of the wonders of summer camps is that kids go on canoe trips, and they're taken out and taught how to paddle properly, how to trek, how to set up camps and that. You'll never see a, a child paddling a canoe or going on a canoe trip that isn't just absolutely out of the world with happiness. They set up a panel to choose the seven wonders of Canada. And of course, the typical things were chosen automatically, no-brainers. That would be the Rocky Mountains, uh, Niagara Falls. But I thought it was rather beautiful that the, the panel chose the canoe as well, one of the seven wonders of Canada. And people said, well, but it's not located anywhere. And our argument back would be exactly the point. It goes everywhere. <laughs>